Yeah, good afternoon, yeah. Um, years ago, um, when I was in Lewisham, uh, Jimmy Tibbet was my best pal, yeah, really, because he used to train me and all that, so I was around him more than anybody. Uh, Dana Beckett uh, training one day, uh, Dave, a guy called Davey Old and Johnny Old, both brothers, both twins, they both work black cabs and they both do uh, equity work, films and all that sort of thing, but everybody likes a bit of spare work, quick money, yeah? So I'm in there training with Jim. Uh, after I'm sitting in the dressing room, they come in and see me. And um, David says to me, do you want a little job? I said, yeah, well, what's it What's it entail? He said, well, there's a club, uh, like a pub club, uh, through Rob Wright Tunnel. It's on the left-hand side. I think it was called the Red Bull and, or the Red Lion, something like that, yeah? And I said, yeah, fair enough. Yeah, I'll have that. So me and Jimmy and uh, David Old, Drove through the tunnel, went to the pub, see the governor of the pub, had a chat to him. He said, look, uh, Lenny used to work here. Uh, Lenny by himself, and uh, he used to sort a lot of people out here. He was a bit of a bully, yeah? But he used to sort the place out. It was not really a lot of trouble in there because but Lenny just bullied people all the time. He said and it stopped business, yeah? So I got rid of Lenny, and um, and I feel like uh, maybe I'll get a couple of guys in here who could run it properly, a uh, bit of... Bit of pick up again. So anyway, so I'm new Dave, I'm new Davey. Uh, we're working, I've been working at the club now for what, two or three weeks. Uh, I have to come from Lewisham to Rothway Tunnel and walk through the tunnel, walk through the tunnel. It's a long walk, mate, I'll be walking all, all the smoke of the cars. But walk through the tunnel, go to the club. Night time, sometimes David drop me through the other side of the uh, of the tunnel and I'll sort of get a bus back to Lewisham. So, one o'clock, two o'clock in the morning, you get back, yeah? So it's a long, it's a long old night, yeah? From nine o'clock until one, two o'clock in the morning when you get home, actually get home. So it's long, but the money was was quite good because we had a door as well. And it's like to pick up, you know, good, good little, good little number. And uh, one day, um, I'm on the door with Dave and uh, Lenny McLean comes to the door because he's worked at Lenny and he wants to go in the club just to see some people and come out again. So I said, look, the governor don't really want you in here, Lenny. So Lenny's sort of like having a little pop at me. So I said, look, quick. I said, go on, Lenny, go in there, see who you got to see, mate, and come out, yeah? He went, okay. And this is about, what, quarter to 11, 11 o'clock at night. So it's quite busy in there, yeah? All of a sudden he goes in there, they're screaming and shouting. He's come rushing out, of, he's come rushing out of, at, the, uh, at the club itself, rushing out. Blood all over him, yeah. Rushing out, darted out of the club and gone, yeah. Gone into the club and he smashed about three people together, yeah. He's bashed up three people bad, you know, really smashed them up. Glasses, bottles, a lot. He's, there's bottles and glasses everywhere. He's just gone mad. He smashed these guys up so terrible. So evidently, these three guys are the guys that caused a problem for him getting the sack. And fair play to Lenny, you know, he didn't muck about, mate. He just come straight in. We didn't give him an aggro, really. I mean, you know, come straight in, straight into the guys, went in there, bashed them up, run out of there, hundred miles and out, not run out of them, obviously, so, but, but run out there, never said a word to me, mate, nothing, just went straight out, straight gone, bump, in there, crashed, disappeared. So he must have had someone in the car outside waiting for him, and he was gone, yeah? But the next time I see then, it was like a long, long time ago, a long time ago after that, um, in in uh, Cat's Whiskers, Streatham, you know, when he was down there with Eddie Richardson, he was going to fight some people. And uh, I fought Kevin Paddock um, and uh, Sid Paddock was there. And I think that he was going to fight Sid or Kevin later on. And he fought Kevin and Kevin beat him, yeah? And I just beat Kevin and I just fought Kevin and got a draw. But he was down there to see what Kevin was like, you know? But yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Lenny, sort of like, fair play to Lenny when he walks in there. He said to me, he didn't say nothing really, just said, I said, he said, can I come in? I'll only be in there, just got to see some people. And he walked straight in there. He must, someone must have phoned him up from inside the pub and told him there people were in there. And he went in there, mate. He just like smashed, smashed them to pieces. When we went in there, there was bottles, glasses, blood everywhere, mate. He just smashed the guys to pieces, just smashed them up, mate, bad. But as I said, fair play to him. Uh, they grasped him up, so, you know, it's the right thing to do. Bang, bang, roll, nice one.